Hello folks, today's topic is all about steps to get ID card in Accenture. Since pandemic, we have been adopting the work from home culture guys. We don't need any ID card and access card because we don't need to swipe wherever we want to go. But now the pandemic has taken its end and we are almost free to move outside and offices are also calling back to office and we're gonna work over there so as we remember like when we are working in office we need to have an id card or access card in order to enter the uh, office room and leaving the office room so and that's the reason id card is must and should but during work from home we don't need them so in order to swipe these cards so what type of cards we will receive in accenture we'll see so first of all i'm gonna tell you the steps to get the id card guys so basically uh, when i'm doing my work from home okay there is different procedure now also it is same but let me discuss first during work from home what is the procedure so as soon as you complete your probation period you will be receiving a mail like congratulations your probation period has been completed so after this probation period okay after this probation period you will receive another mail within few days okay within few days you will be receiving another mail and this is the first step to get your id card okay so through this mail only you will be getting the id card so this is the procedure that uh, i have uh, been uh, instructed to follow so now work from office have been started okay so what is the major difference okay during work from home and work from office means you will be getting a delivery for your asset right laptop those things at that time only you will be receiving a access card along with your assets okay so it may be a different delivery or within the same delivery so most of our subscribers our new joiner subscribers they told me like during the assets delivery they have received one access card guys so access card and id card is different okay access card is only to swipe in order to open or i mean in order to enter the office and leave the office okay id card is different so you will be receiving the access card there will be a chip inside there there will be no details of you i think so this will be your access card so guys the only difference is uh, during work from home we don't need any access card because we are doing work from home right now that they are providing access card because they are calling all of us back to office so the procedure for id card will be same guys uh, access card is the extra thing that you will be getting nowadays so my procedure is like i'll tell my uh, I'll tell my steps or procedure which I follow to get ID card is in Accenture I have joined in uh, June 2021 guys so after uh, six months of my joining I received a mail from uh, Outlook like in Outlook like uh, in December 2021 I received a mail like my probation period has been completed I am now permanent employee of Accenture so this is the mail I received and in the December okay in the same uh, month I received like another mail okay so in the same month of the few days of probation mail i received another mail so this is regarding my id card okay guys like uh, this id card mail uh, is uh, containing uh, okay some details so after that details they are uh, providing me two hyperlinks out of which first one is now uh, fill details of id card is there and second one is upload photo so let us now first click on the i mean you will also you will be also receiving this mail after your probation period for id card so in that mail please click on fill details for id card guys so yeah uh, one small important thing guys if you haven't subscribed to savipa's channel yet please do subscribe i'm gonna upload many more useful videos in upcoming weeks so please support me by subscribing and like the video and comment your queries and follow me on instagram and telegram channel as well so okay let's continue the video so after clicking that uh, link you will be getting a forms guys so in that the fields are like so you have to uh, enter your uh, name 
name the first one the second one is your location okay your office location so your office location you have to write and third one is your contact number and fourth one is your building number okay you, they, you uh, when you are filling your mighty you would have known your building number right so you have to write that next one is category and subcategory and your seat and room number is i also don't know seat and room number so i just kept like floor number so once i have visited the office so i know which floor i mean so i just kept the floor number if you don't know just leave it blank because we can't do anything so or else you can keep some floor name if you know that so next one is the description like whatever you want what for what purpose you are requesting so you just need to provide that and uh, now let's see like what details i have filled for sample here so the name is savipa like my name i have provided and my location is pune i have provided and contact number i have provided so after that my building is like asanja pc9 building so what is the your building name please provide it and category is select id card guys because we are requesting it for id card right and the subcategory here is uh, request new id card okay so request new id card you have to provide and room number uh, as i already told that i don't know that so i mentioned like first floor second floor whatever it is and description you have to write please provide my id card like you're requesting for id card right so you can write more data in that and now click on submit so this is your first step guys now click on second thing Okay, which is upload photo so guys when you click on upload photo please remember these conditions okay what are those conditions means whenever you apply whenever uh, you are uploading your uh, passport size photo make sure the first one is your background should be white okay it shouldn't be dark or you shouldn't use any other color other than white okay make sure you are taking your photograph in white or else if you take in any other background in your home by yourself also there are many apps guys you can use pixart or any other app to remove the background and make your background as white so make use of those apps and make sure that your passport size photo is with white background and the second condition is your posture okay whenever you are looking into the camera don't uh, make uh, like any other side angles okay you should look straight forward to the camera okay so uh, because i had one passport size photo uh, i was looking sideways okay somewhat little side so they rejected that photo so it shouldn't be happen with you so i'm telling please look straight to the camera and your posture should be straight and uh, the third condition is the dimensions of the photo should be two by two inches okay it should not uh, uh, be like three by four or something it should be two by two inches so these are the three conditions that you have to follow while uploading the photo because if you you are failed to follow any of these steps they'll be rejecting your photo and again you have to upload okay so before uploading itself make sure you are following these conditions now if we click on upload photo you will be uh, seeing a button right to upload the pic so click on that upload once you browse your uh, uh, image file with all the conditions that I have told you if you apply those conditions and upload the image then uh, you can see that your image is uploaded and uh, now if every condition is successful you can submit so after submitting after two months you will be receiving your id card okay so after two months uh, or two to three months guys this is not accurate because for me i received within uh, two months my, uh, my one of my colleagues they received after three months so make sure after getting the id card please keep it safe because uh, if at all you lose your id card you have to pay i think 3000 rupees fine so make sure all the cards are in a safe place so that's it guys uh, so this is the procedure that you have to get uh, your id card after your probation period so uh, if you want to make if you want me to make a video on probation period and what is like uh, uh, this confirmation uh, let me know through the comment section i'll be making it and if you have any queries also please comment through the comment section and please do support me by subscribing to this channel guys so that's it i need it from you so please subscribe to this channel and if you like the video please click the like button and uh, you can subscribe to telegram channel and follow us on instagram as well take care guys